first. KFDM News has learned the Beaumont Police Department placed two officers on leave following an investigation into overtime pay. One of those officers is back at work, while another remains on suspension after an internal investigation and disciplinary review board review. KFDM's Justin Hinton has been looking into this for months and has all the details in this KFDM 6 News investigation. You see them as you drive around town. Beaumont police officers keeping the community safe. But according to documents we've obtained, one of those officers tried to get paid for work he never performed. It all surrounds a complaint alleging department violations against two officers, Captain David Kiker and Lieutenant Derek Fowler. According to testimony from Lieutenant Fowler, Captain Kiker's signature appeared on an overtime slip for four hours of work on September 28th of last year. Captain Kiker never worked those hours. Not who signed it, because I know his, his signature. Who filled that slip out? I did. Okay. Was that slip filled out before he signed it? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. But testimony from Kiker indicates he has no recollection of filling out the slip, though he admits it was his signature. How often do you let other people complete OT slips for you? I don't know that I ever have. How did this one happen? I don't know. I didn't remember the slip until LD showed it to me in his office. I didn't even know it existed. When he showed it to you, did you remember it then? No. You have no memory whatsoever of signing that slip or written it. I don't, I don't have any memory of signing that slip. And it's not my handwriting that filled it out. Disciplinary review board hearing officers repeatedly questioned Fowler about his role as well especially after the overtime request was already denied by Assistant Chief Wayne Jeffcoat. Okay, I think you a little bit avoided my question. Which is? What my initial question, not my initial question, the follow-up question from Lieutenant Brown was, if you knew the time had not been worked, why would you bring that slip to Jeffcoat, Chief Jeffcoat? Well, I wasn't going to enter it without permission. I wasn't going to do it. I guess I was looking for a higher permission, a higher ranking person to say that it was okay. You understand that entering time has not been worked. It's not okay, correct? Yes, sir. So why would you try to go get permission from somebody else to do something you know is incorrect or improper? That's my question, yeah. in a nutshell. I, um... I don't know. I should not have done it. Okay. Both officers received suspension. Fowler, an 80-hour suspension without pay for this case and another for which we have yet to receive documents. And Kiker, indefinitely. That suspension began March 10th of this year. We reached out to Police Chief Jimmy Singletary asking for an interview a number of times. He declined. While the chief may not have spoken about the case with us, he wrote about it in this letter to Kiker. Singletary calls his management incompetent and neglectful of duty. Also, his conduct in signing a false overtime slip and allowing it to be submitted for payroll is conduct unbecoming to an officer. He goes on to say it reflects discredit upon this department and tends to bring this department into disrepute. And even though the grant was never charged and Kiker's payment was reversed, the chief says the correction does not rectify the fact that the entire incident is a, quote, poor reflection on this department. This is not the first time Captain Kiker has been in hot water with the department. In 2008, the department suspended him for 90 days for his role in a prostitution sting. He admitted that he performed sexual acts with prostitutes. After that, he was promoted to captain. And in September 2013, he received a one-day suspension for misconduct and violation of department protocols for ineffective management dealing with staffing. Again, the police department would not comment on a pending internal investigation. We're told David Kiker will have an arbitration hearing at the beginning of next year.